Good evening, everybody. Uh, hey, we're glad to have you on and uh, hope you've seen all uh, the little teaser promotion of the big project that we've got coming up. I wanna take you on a live tour of the Ray Crilly collection. I know many of you uh, knew Ray and you probably wore out several of his books uh, in the farm toy hobby and it's it's really a, a legendary collection and uh, we're, we're really honored to be uh, representing the collection. I'm gonna take you on a first-hand tour. So this is a, this is before anything's touched. Uh, you can see it just like we find it. So let me flip the camera around and we'll get started. Now there's three buildings. We're just going to start in the basement and then I'll take you out to the other two buildings. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, in the basement, uh, predominantly what we've got down here is everything that is not John Deere or International. And, uh, and I mean, it runs the gambit. I mean, there's a, there's a customs, there's a Dingman 70 with cultivators. There's a Lincoln 77 standard, uh, getting up into here, all the early Masseys, rules, Kings, uh, you know, Ray collected everything because he was documenting, uh, things for his books. So, I mean, there was like no, uh, rhyme to reason. He just basically tried to get it all, which includes all brands and customs, uh, new old stock stuff. Uh, he's got, uh, undoubtedly the largest collection of, uh, foreign built and, and tractors. Uh, did you see the, see the early R, the early slick R up there, a UB in a box? I mean, how, how, tough, how tough of a piece is that? Uh, I'll just work, work down the sides here. Here's a lot of these universal hobby tractors. Uh, those, are, those are killer detail if you've never, never really seen some of those. Um, getting in the back... There's some customs. Uh, this is a little bit of his Alice. Uh, you know, then you get into the early Alice stuff. There's that drag harrow, which is a super, super tough piece to find. Uh, and then, you know, it, it doesn't matter where you look. You know, you see something. Uh, oh, there's, there's one of the big Klee tracks, custom Klee tracks. Uh, you see the cat on the world up there. Uh, I just took the top off of this box. <clears throat> you know, that you're seeing it just exactly like we see it uh, for the first time. Here's the, all the early toy farmers. I kind of breezed past this case. Uh, just because I knew I was going to come back to it. Check out the Vindex. Look at the case combine, case plow. All the early New Holland pieces. A little dark in here, but you're getting, I know you're getting the drift. And you're all getting as excited as I am. I walked right past this case coming in too. <laughs> Check out all the new idea. Super 55. Oh, there's Super 55 in the box that I didn't think was here. Yeah. Hey, this is Barry. This is Ray's son. Say hey to everybody. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Looking forward to the world seeing it all yeah this is gonna this, this is gonna really be fantastic fun. look at the uh check out check out all of the uh the like jeff and and lands all the early foreign pieces check this out chad valley fordsons david browns new fields all the early masseys you know, there's uh, there's foreign toys that uh, in boxes that I've never seen here before. Wait till wait till you see all the 
all the plastic uh, International Harvester Jeff toys. Massey. I mean, really incredible stuff, folks. And, and it is, it is slammed in. I mean, slammed in somewhere, somewhere between twenty and thirty thousand toys, probably. Um, I started counting wheels and was going to divide by four, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't get the job finished up. So, this is the basement. We're going to go out to the other two sheds, and we're going to kind of do the same kind of tour. So, we'll see on the uh, see in the IH room. Of course, we're in the house, so this was kind of his. Uh, you know, this, this office where he, uh, if he got a new piece in, he would sit down and log it. It's on the, in, on the card catalog system. So th this, this office pictures. is, th so this office is where all those books originated. Yes, sir. And, uh, and, and, and a uh, file of every, uh, every tractor in the collection. Wow. <laughs> wow. You know, as you get one and write it down, that's how it was easy to. And here's to his, uh. Here's his plaque for the uh, when he was inducted into the uh, Farm Toy Hall of Fame. So, uh, so that's you know that's what uh, that's what we're doing here. This is uh, he uh, he was so well known and he did so much for the farm toy hobby. Uh, I know I probably wore out two or three of those books whenever I was coming up and and learning farm toys. Um, New Holland Sales Award. There's a little uh, oil pull paperweight. A lot of great stuff. I mean, it just goes on. I know I'm rambling here a little bit, but we're going to get to the, uh, let's just take one more swipe through. We're going to go out to the uh, international room and the, uh, and the John Deere room here next. So, you know, and there is <laughs> what little digging that I've done here. Um, you'll find a new toy next to a, next to an old toy. So, I mean, it's hard telling what we're going to turn up. All right. We're going to go out to the other rooms and we'll go back live. Now, many of you saw Ray at, at a lot of toy shows, you know, and he was always just inside the door at the national and this pile, which that's the front of the pile and it goes all the way back. That's stuff that he had saved up to take to shows. And, you know, while you may look and you see, you know, some modern stuff and some modern toys, cockship museum sets and whites, you know, in through there and some John Deere combines. <laughs> but then as I was looking up in the pile, look up, look up. How about a green sheep's foot or a sheep's foot roller in the green box? I mean, <laughs> you know, Alice's. You can look up, look up between those two boxes. That looks like a 200 Alice in the box. Um, so who knows what we're going to find in here? I mean, it's, uh, and this is deep. I mean, it goes, it goes way back. So have no idea what we're going to find in this pile, but there's, uh, there's a ton of stuff. Hey, and here are Ray's milkers that he made that uh, the family is selling now. So if you want to, want to get in on some of those, uh, you know, comment in the, in the comment section and we'll make sure you get a chance at some of those. <coughs> so we're gonna follow Barry back here. We're going to the green room first. We're going to the green room. <laughs> and when it's green, it's green. It's green. <laughs> it's not Oliver Green, which we're not holding against him. <laughs> But holy Moses, look at the John Deere. And there is everything in here. Um, you know, Ray, I think Ray's first book came out in like 1984, maybe something like that. Um, so, I mean, he was so early, you know, into the end of the hobby, um, but he never stopped. Um, they said even he, he got a few shipments of toys in after he had passed away. Um, so, you know, he was a, he was a scholar and a historian, so, you know, you you start looking through everything, and, you know, he's got a case of 50 stuff down there, and then, you know, then he's got modern stuff that, you know, just came out, and, and everything in between. I thought this showcase was cool. Check this out. That's all Argentinian Sigomac toys. 
I mean, that, it, how nuts is that? And just because they're loose does not mean that there's not boxes because when you look back behind, the bottoms of the showcases are full of boxes. That's so we are yet to see. Yeah, that we yeah that we haven't even seen yet. So you know, hopefully, you know, on like on some of the early toys, you know, there's probably there's some boxes I know. I don't know if everything's boxed, but we'll we'll find out whenever we start going through things. Um, see, I mean, you'll have a. <laughs> You'll have a 7710 tractor next to a 6600 combine. I mean, it's just it's pretty, it's random the way the way s stuff is. Um, check this out. Super early Ertl A with the cast wheels. Boom, boom! Look at all of index. Look at all of index. How cool is that? You know, and, and real early customs. I mean, like early 80s customs that you, you know, they were made in such low quantity. That there's a lot of people don't have those in their collections. You know, he had, I know he had some prototypes because I'd seen him at shows before. Some Ertle prototypes. I, I don't know. That's, that's kind of odd there, I thought with the 4230 on the decals. I don't know if we'll have to check that out and see if that's legit or if that's a later custom or something. Look at the, uh, look at the John Deere, I mean, crisp boxes. Look at that maintenance set. Super, super nice crisp boxes. Everybody that hated the colored lawn Ah, check this yeah, out. Yeah. Check that out. Look at that. People hated it. Look at that. God, the whole dealer display. There's the individual uh, boxes. Snowmobiles. Nuts. It's nuts. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You know, we're not even sure what's in some of the showcases because they're a little buried, you know, but there's custom, there's Lebanon Valley toys and, and trums and. And he's, he's stacked in underneath before out here. So you're going to get some older stuff probably back there when you start digging. It. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be fun. You know, there's, there's some early customs there. See, you can see, you can see boxes and stuff in the showcases behind you. Oh. Oh, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, you got a nice boy box. How about the, how about the tractor and wagon set? Woo! Bubble box, ice cream box. Super cool stuff. You know, and everything from everything from one eighth to sixty fourth. It's it's all. All right. So that is the green room. We're gonna go find the red room next. Okay, we're gonna sneak around the corner here and go into the red room. And again, um, you know, it's just it's kind of like the. The, what he called the green room over there. This is this is this is all International Harvester toys, and it will run from arcade up through stuff that's a couple of years old. Um, you know, check out this showcase. <clears throat> you know, and there's some. You know, he he was probably the guy that was the most knowledgeable on uh, European toys. So, so there's a lot of French pieces, you know, the French Jeff pieces and boxed, you know, you know, up to Ertl toys. There's 
ice cream box, blue box, bubble box. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's case in here, too. Hang on. Let me back up, and I'll kind of get the wall here. Uh, so a lot of that is, uh, you know, newer, later production spec cast and Ertl. But, you know, then you get in the blue box. Two plus twos. 66 series. Down there on the bottom. And then you go and you got modern spec cast. And then boom. <laughs> you, know, you got a 560 bubble right there. White wheel, white plastic wheels. That's a good one. That's a rare variation. Uh, there's more blue box toys. There's a 544. And you're going and going and you got case and you know you just got kind of the more common stuff and then you go to stars and stripes and then you go ah 1270 no cab 1070 no cab 1270s uh that is Oh, well, I thought maybe it'd be a black knight. It's not, but that's all right. That's all right. We still love it. Uh, let's see here. Not too much. See, this is mostly later stuff here. Um, here's here's some more case. I'll circle back around to the IH that's on the other side. I think there's every Canadian uh, Ontario tractor. Four-wheel drives. There's a rare toy. First Ertle M. A little bit more blue box. And all of Ray's sheds were climate controlled. So that huge, huge help in preserving things. Golden demos, black knights, dingmans, case stuff in the box. More case down there that we can't see. Um, pretty darn respectable uh, arcade and Ricky free height. Smith Miller's sprinkled in. I mean, you just, you literally don't know what you're going to find. Uh, every time we walk back through, we see more stuff. So, like I miss the scouts. <laughs> so that is the Red Room. All right. Hey, keep an eye on the website, and, uh, you know, we're going to have more details. The auctions will start in the fall, probably. we got a big job to get everything uh, packed up and move back to our facility. So, And uh, we've got a brand-new showroom at our facility. So, uh, you know, as the auctions come up, you are more than welcome to drop by any time and take a look at things. Uh, we've got, uh, got it set up so everything can be displayed at all times. Uh, nothing's packed back up. Uh, it's always available, and we can answer questions, or you can come by and see it in person. I just saw this pay hauler. <laughs> Walk right past that. All right. Hey, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.